Hi, maybe I'm Suisa, maybe I'm not, but you can call me Rice because that is my nickname. Welcome to my channel. I am an elegant leisure content creator, means I like to wear elegant clothes or loungewear and talk about different topics, um, play games um, on PlayStation or computer and also draw now and again, most of the time on Twitch. But on YouTube, I do also architectural review, which I also do live on Twitch on Mondays. And I review now and again games. And today I'm going to review Hunter's Arena Legends. I'm just going to put some play. You have twice of me <laughs> today now. But I just want to talk over some gameplay and give a brief review of the game. I main as Dalgi. This is this girl with the scythe. And basically, it's a character to unlock because there are some who are locked and there are some who are by default in the game unlocked. But the game does rotate and unlock characters each week. So if you want to try a character before um, committing to buying one and you don't have to buy with your actual currency, you can just play the game, gain the currency end game, just like any type of Battle Royale game and do it. And yes, I didn't mention this is a Battle Royale game. But unlike the usual that we have been seeing so far, it is generally um, not, it's not generally, it is no guns. It's not first person shooter, no FPS. It's literally, I'm skipping ahead so you can see the game. It's literally um, melee combat. You have like specials attack. Um, even what I call the finisher, but it's not a finisher because you can block it. But just so the like mortal combat of it or finish him <laughs> style uh, moves with animations. And I feel the characters are actually endearing. I have played with this one, Dalgi. I have played with Ara. Um, I have tried other characters out, but not as much as Dalgi and Ara. And I'm I'm planning to try Momo if I'm not already playing her by now. I'm tr I'm planning to unlock her to try because she's a long range character. Ara is also she's the girl who's normally dressed in white with the long sleeves, but I feel her range isn't as um good as Momo's and I've seen people play with Momo in the range just like crazy Wukong also even though he's not a long range character but basically I'm going off track but in this game you have different characters like there's mid range there's melee there's long range I recommend there you find I found somebody to fight but I always recommend um Definitely trying out what fits you best. There's a training mode, but I feel the computer isn't... I killed him, sorry. <laughs> but I feel like the computer isn't um, as difficult as just real-life experience in the game. So I do recommend just playing it. But for some... I'm someone who... I would say just okay on Battle Royale. Like, I play Fortnite, but with friends. But I was really never enthusiastic about it. But this game is, like, super fun. In case you think, oh, it's going to be repetitive. It's the same old, same old. I feel like you find people playing things in different ways. And so you get ideas to how to implement it in your gameplay. You, it's, like, always new. And since, like, some characters are, like, like, this week when I'm filming, Wukong is unlocked. So a lot of people is Wukong. But I know next week it's going to be another character that's locked and unlocked and he's locked. So it's going to be interesting gameplay. I do recommend, especially if you have PlayStation Plus, to definitely download it before the end of August. Or I'll say before, I usually it's the first Tuesday of the month, before the first Tuesday of September. So you get the game and you try it out. You have really nothing to lose if you already have PlayStation Plus. I really recommend you try it out because I didn't expect to like it and I love it. I love the game. I'm legend rank. <laughs> Doesn't tell you how much hours I spent on the game. I was legend rank preseason and now season one is fully in effect. And the dev said it's going to last one month and a half or so. Um, my one complaint is the game doesn't have a duo. It only has trio. It has something called tag. If you have a friend that you want to like train with, tag is good. But if not, I don't enjoy tag. I don't get it. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I don't get it. But I'm sure there's people out there who enjoy. I don't get it. It's not for me. But I like the solo and trio. If you have a good team, I think it's fun. I already played trio with, with a team where I had good synergy with and a team I had bad synergy with. And it's fun if you have a good team. Playing with randoms, I wouldn't recommend. 
<laughs> unless you're patient personally for me i need communication i need um i need a lot of things <laughs> whereas solo you only depend on yourself and also you see me hiding in a bush checking my items there's also you can stealth in this game you can trap people and like human traps in this game there's bombs i haven't gotten the bomb trophy yet so i like there's certain trophies in the playstation to get and, I, and it's also available on steam i believe i don't have it on computer again i got it with playstation plus but i do recommend the game and there's even this aspect of phantom hunter that's what just appeared that is hunters that appear at random time in the game and they try to kill you if you kill them and like before they kill you you get back the health you wasted but sometimes they just come at inopportune times especially if you're fighting somebody or just finished fighting somebody just up here and you got you gotta be scared it can happen in the finales it can happen right in the be it's like random but it adds some adventure to the game so it doesn't feel repetitive and that's momo that's who i'm saying i really need to buy <laughs> but it's just fun that's one of the specials you unlock at level 10 and then after you have your special move also that comes out level 12 and you have to like hit people like get enough hit points experience to like unlock it but it's all good if not and that's sorry that's my phone but yeah and that's pretty much it <laughs> sorry we got kind of on the phone but that's it it's fun and i died so in perfect timing so let me know if you have any questions about this game. Um, please keep me in a no. Uh, take care and have a good day. Hope this review was informative. And if you have any questions, let me know. Bye. <laughs>